it it is the it is the kind of thing that no matter how you say it it will always feel silly but in moments like this when the air is fresh and there is this slow breeze I feel like I'm still in the countryside sitting alone in the field and writing something I can't remember being alone all that time has probably helped me to develop that kind of observer spirit I already had as a child and led me to analyze how people interact and act and love probably because I never knew how to interact and now I have to say that I still don't know if I have understood how they interact I can tell you if they're hungry or annoyed or just hearing their voice I can tell you if they're in love with someone or if their heart is secretly broken if they bear a secret burden but I can't tell you how they communicate I have always felt like everyone everyone lives in its own world isolated in himself and can only try to speak to someone else but he will always fail he will always be able to communicate only a small part of what he thinks everything will be misunderstood like like there is something between men like a barrier or something like that ah love what a curious human emotion a lot of people want it but very less people are actually able to love ah yes love everybody wants it nobody can give it i'm not scared of saying that i guess it's not my fault if i never had some great examples of love in real life their inability to love is a big problem it made them stronger but confuses them to the point that sometimes they can't be happy for a long time but this is complex stuff and I don't really want to talk about it it's my decision if I want to talk about it or not if I want to ignore the problem I wish that there was someone that supported me someone that cared about me and that kept me going when darkness was haunting me and allowed herself in my brain when I started to feel tired and I couldn't see anything different from the void in me I wish someone could have shared with me all the sufferings I went through so that when I've got all this money I could have given help to he or she or them and could have lived with that person sharing my success with someone and telling them now we are above it all the time spent desiring for something that we couldn't afford all the loneliness and the everyday pains now we are above it all and you can have my money, you don't need to work we can live together and I will pay everything and give you everything you need so you don't have to worry and it will be not a problem for us as we will be sharing and I will not want you to work hard and to face difficulties to cry or feel any pain but there was no one there and money seemed more like a heavy burden of gold if you're alone with them all the time there is no one I can give all of this and tell them it's yours I want you to take this there is no one I believe that being alone for so much time actually made me able to see the advantages of being on your own. You don't have to excuse yourself or 
or to explain your emotions to someone that probably will never understand you. You don't have to explain yourself, your way of living. You don't need the approval of anybody. You don't need to put an arm around because there is no one around you that may hurt you. I believe that there is something scary and supernatural in talking to someone and in watching directly in their eyes. It's superhuman. I love to be surrounded by things. Um, I love buying things. It always makes me feel special. It gives me such a particular and intense but still intimate and private emotion to buy something. To buy something new and to take it at home. It's like I have a new baby, a new son to take care of. There are newborns. The wind of the countryside was always full of noises. There were always birds singing. You could get used to them so much that sometimes you could find yourself wondering that they were singing and you didn't notice it. The countryside and as long as I was walking around, not really doing anything, I could feel delighted just watching the field and the sky and feeling the sun on my skin and walking around thinking, thinking, always thinking. Buying things makes me feel less lonely without actually having to renounce to the advantages of loneliness, like I said before. So, I sometimes buy things that I don't really need, but I never deny that. I never lied about that. I've been pretty honest. And I... I can't understand which part of me really beg, really want me to buy something new, or to make me look good, or give a try to something I already know is good.